Thank you very much for staying up a little late with us here tonight on the WHAS 11 night team. I'm Doug Prophet and new tonight much better than his debate performance with Donald Trump, but still some cringe worthy moments for President Joe Biden tonight. Just some of the reviews coming in after going face to face with reporters. The president showing more focus and a stronger command of facts and memory, but confused some names early on, including one with Donald Trump. ABC News has the late reaction to this highly watched event. Tonight, President Biden facing tough questions as he wraps up this week's NATO summit. Have you spent time thinking about what it would mean for your legacy, which you've worked decades to build, if you stay in the race, despite the concerns that voters say they have, and you lose to someone who you yourself have argued is unfit to return to the Oval Office? Well, look, I'm not in this for my legacy. I'm in this to complete the job I started. His first solo unscripted press conference in eight months with growing doubts from his own party if he is fit for another term. Looked at my schedule since I've since I made that stupid mistake of in the campaign in the, in the debate. I mean, my schedule has been full bore. I've done where's when where's Trump been riding around in his golf cart, filling out his scorecard before he hits the ball. On Capitol Hill, more than a dozen House Democrats and counting, calling on him to end his reelection bid, and others still wrestling with the issue. Those conversations have been candid, comprehensive, and clear-eyed, and they continue. It comes as the first Democratic Senator, Peter Welch of Vermont, is now calling on Biden to step aside. A new ABC News poll with The Washington Post and Ipsos shows a whopping 85% of the country thinks Biden is too old for another term. 60% think the same for Trump. This is a dead heat of a race. In the two weeks of the debate, so much has changed, but the horse race truly hasn't. Donald Trump up a single point well within the margin of error. We're told the Biden campaign is now testing head-to-head -head matchups of Vice President Harris against former President Trump. It's a strategic shift that comes amid increasing uncertainty for Biden's candidacy. M1, ABC News, Washington. As of tonight, former President Donald Trump has not made an official statement about Biden's news conference, but was posting about it on his social media site, Truth Social, throughout the news conference. He started by attacking Biden for mistakenly referring to Vice President Harris as Vice President Trump. Trump in a post calling out the slip up and uh, adding, great job, Joe. He posted a few more times throughout the news conference, finally making his last post saying, quote, Crooked Joe has a case of Trump derangement syndrome. 